Dinner tonight is a little different. It's still high protein, but it's made using spaghetti squash. And no, we're not making spaghetti. A spaghetti squash you can usually find it year round, but they're more prevalent during the fall because it's pumpkin season and there's squashes and pumpkins everywhere. It's a popular good old substitute for noodles because it's gluten-free, low carb, and the innards when it's cooked, it looks like spaghetti. But today I'm gonna use it as a bowl to hold our toppings so that we eat everything together. Starting with the main character, the spaghetti squash, cut it down the center in half. Make sure you're using a good knife and do this safely, please, because you don't want to end up with a finger inside your stuffed spaghetti squash. I mean, I know Halloween's coming up, but that's just gross. Dig out the seeds with a spoon and then toss them into the compost or the trash. Then place the two halves upside down on a baking sheet so that the skin side is up and bake these in the oven at 400 degrees for around 40 to 50 minutes, just until the middle is softened. If you're someone who likes to get their nutrients from food like I do, you're gonna be saddened to know that a cup of spaghetti squash isn't gonna give you the electrolytes you need to operate at your best self. One cup only has 17 milligrams of sodium and 100 milligrams potassium. But if you drink a packet of Element Electrolytes while your spaghetti squash is cooking, then you'll be good because each packet has 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Element doesn't come in spaghetti squash flavor, but it does come in a bunch of delicious flavors like orange, citrus, grapefruit, watermelon, even chocolate. All of these are free from sugars and junky ingredients. They come in convenient packets that you take on the go and just mix it up with water when you feel like you need your electrolytes replenished. It's not very convenient to carry around a spaghetti squash with you, and what are you gonna do, eat that like an apple? Right now, Element's offering my viewers a free sample pack with every order. This is a really good way to sample some of their flavors so that you can see which ones you like. Just go to drinkelement.com slash ketofocus to get yours. During the last 10 minutes of your spaghetti squash baking, we are gonna move on to the filling. So grab a large bowl, and in that bowl, you're gonna add a cup of Greek yogurt, preferably one that's a low carb brand, like Too Good Plain Yogurt, or Plain Greek Yogurt's fine. It's gonna add some extra protein to your meal as well. Then two tablespoons of your favorite hot sauce or buffalo sauce, a half a tablespoon of freshly chopped parsley, one teaspoon of dried dill, a half a teaspoon of chopped fresh chives, a half a tablespoon each of garlic powder and onion powder, and then a tablespoon of lemon juice. Whisk that together until it's all combined and smooth and give it a taste. This is where you could add some salt if you feel like it needs it. For more protein, I like to add in two cups of cooked shredded chicken. The easiest way to do this is just to get it at the deli counter at your grocery store because most of them will sell cooked shredded chicken left over from their rotisserie chickens that didn't sell. Or you can just grab a rotisserie chicken and shred it yourself. Now it's time to stuff our squash. It's cooked and softened, and all you have to do is take two forks and start to shred the squash into spaghetti. You can see how the innards actually turn into thin spaghetti strands. It's nature's spaghetti. Once it's all shredded, evenly divide the chicken mixture between the two. And since we're making a buffalo chicken stuffed spaghetti squash, top these with four tablespoons of crumbled blue cheese. And then we're gonna put it back in the oven for another five to 10 minutes just to warm up that chicken mixture and to melt the blue cheese just a tad. Top it with some fresh chives or parsley and dig in. This is such a delicious effortless dinner, perfect for fall. But if you're craving more pumpkin, I've got the perfect savory pumpkin fix. Just click right here. 